When humans populated the earth, everybody realized that they had to survive dangerous situations around them. Since most of them lived in jungles, they were always in danger of being hunted down by wild animals. That led them to interact and live in groups. This became a habit over generations. A large majority of humans got used to the idea of living together. They became dependent on each other. Living in groups became the most natural thing for everyone. So we can safely say that humans are social beings. Who is a social being? A social being is one who interacts with creatures, humans, and other animals around him regularly. Dogs are social beings too, as are many other animals. Now think of the time when you see your mom cook something that you like in the kitchen. She might not enjoy eating that dish. She may even hate it. But still, she cooks it for you. She prepares the dish for the sake of your happiness. In fact, most moms behave similarly. If you pick any mom from a random house in your city, there is a high chance that this mom behaves in a manner that is similar to yours. There seems to be a pattern over here. What do we call this pattern? A behavior. Social behavior. What is social behavior? When someone acts according to the likes of others, we call it social behavior. You might argue that humans don't care about others' likes or dislikes. And trust me, humans do that a lot. They don't realize it all the time. Now that you understand what social behavior is, you also need to know how often humans act according to the likes of others. Imagine you got an A plus grade in school. You feel happy, right? All you want to do is come back home and tell your parents about it. And when you show your grades to them, you expect them to be happy too, isn't it? But why are you really doing it? You are sharing your happiness with them. And in turn, you make them happy. Similarly, when your teacher scolds you for talking in class, you feel sad. But still, you share your sadness with your parents, right? And you expect them to share your sadness. So, humans like you and I have emotional needs. We need others to empathize with our feelings. This aspect of our life reinforces the notion that humans are social beings. We are all directly or indirectly dependent on others to make us feel accepted and loved. That is called companionship. Or in simpler words, friendship. We use the term psychology to describe the emotional and mental states of humans. Psychology describes why we behave in certain situations in the way that we do. Since we are social beings, it is important to understand the psychology of our fellow humans. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.